EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. First carry now for the Memphis man, Daryl Henderson. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Quick pass to cut. That one a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, here's gone. He'll get this underneath to Henderson. And he'll get up near the 45. He'll spot it at the 44. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Two yards, good enough for first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No game. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's second and ten. Goff now to throw. And the open receiver is Robert Woods. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 36. First and ten, as they've got things rolling on this drive. That's a jet sweep, the football to Woods. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. He's taken down. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Six yards left on second down. From the gun to give to Henderson. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 26. Seven yards there and a first down. First but they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. The, tackle the corner, Stephon Gilmore on the stop. A gain of five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. 
They'll try the air now with Gall. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. First down L.A. Gall finding Reynolds there. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive going to plan so far. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Pick up a defensively pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Again, it's Henderson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Or might he go for it? And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. That's a solid opening drive, and nothing fancy there at the end, just pounded in. That felt like old school football, didn't it? All right, down at the goal line, and not only were they able to punch it in, as you just emphasized, they did it against a goal line defense that's stacked to stop the run. So if you're on that offensive side of the ball, you feel great about yourself right now. You were actually able to dominate a group that expected you to run the ball and still punched it in. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now. First and 10 at their own 21. He'll drop to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And a return to stop right around the 25. Newton's pass intercepted. And after the interception, here's Gall. Going to Woods, but that pass is intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro Stephon Gilmore. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Sony Michel, his first carry. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Another big play there by Aaron Donald, the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year in 2017 and 18. We know he can rush the passer. He's also dominant in the run game. The quickness for a man his size often defeats the offensive lineman trying to block him. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. A three-yard pickup, and it's third down. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. Into the hands of the tight end, this is Jordan Thomas. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. And That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. 
Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Sonny Michelle comes out of a long line of terrific running backs from the University of Georgia and was a first-round selection for New England in 2018. He does not mind carrying the football, never turns down an opportunity. Top 10 in rushing attempts in the league in 2019. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Ryan Izzo, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Brings Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know, in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. Oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Got the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it a second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second down, it's Henderson. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Adrian Phillips there to knock that one away. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. That was another good run, and he's having an excellent day. And right now, I don't think his team could have any more confidence in handing him the football. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Henderson will try to run for the first. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. started as they take over first and ten. Ready, 
Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. They begin the drive on the ground. It's white. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Down at the 17 yard line. A three yard pickup. Brings up seven. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So from the 17, here's second and seven. A shotgun snap for Newton. Flushed out right. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. First down, Michelle, and he powers his way up past the 30. Micah Kaiser was in on the tackle. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. White, the ball carrier. The Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Micah Kaiser. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll run with Michelle. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Brings up second. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. They'll try the air now with Newton. Dancing to his left. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Down at the 39-yard line. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. New England on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. on the punt, just two on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. At their own the Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. They've got the lead, last time had to punt it though, what's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front, you know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins, let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> Watch that leverage on this drive. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. 
And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first and 10, gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On the ground with a tight end. I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. No gain on the Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he got a man. It's Rollins. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Goff hitting Woods for the Rams first. first I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They'll get this one to cop complete. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Out of the gun, gone. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Henderson now on first and ten. And a pickup of about four down inside the ten to the eight-yard line. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out on the field for a long time. And that last run, they just cut right through them. Facing a second and six from the eight. On the carry is Henderson. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They try and run for it here with Brown, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Malcolm Brown taking it in. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And nothing special there. They showed they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. And it's good to make it 14-0. It is good. Makes the score Rams 14, Patriots nothing.
Scoring the touchdown. Here's Gay to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. New England trying to get to place on offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. Gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Third down, Michelle. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here comes Webster. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. L.A. readies for its next possession. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 38, Goff gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brings up third. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pulling and communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Patriots. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four 
They'll contain him to just four, second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Out of the gun, Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And yeah, that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Throwing on third down, Newton. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Them shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Here's Newton. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the gun, Newton. Open man is Myers. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Throwing again on second down, Newton. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing again is Newton. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Nikhil Harry in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played.
So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. On the return comes Webster. Well, a good looking return set up here. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And he returns this to the 22. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. He's tackled. They needed a yard. They got it. First down. One yard. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. <laughs> Running out of the gun with White. Gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Yeah, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? Because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it, you can throw it, you keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, stand ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. He'll get this into the hands of Bird. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Just beating the play clock is Newton. Open man right side, Myers. He's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll turn to Michelle as they go back to the ground. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The UCLA product, Kenny Young, had the tackle. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. 
Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Over the middle, he's got Myers. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 21. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. First down, New England. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. Now Newton on first down. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He sacked. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Newton to throw. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. And they will run it with Michelle. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriots score. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. On the return comes Webster. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Golf will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for gone. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
Call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Golf's throw here finds Woods. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, here's Golf. That'll be caught by Cup. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 19. 11 yards there, first down. 10 at the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, gone. His throw caught at about the 5. And he couldn't quite get Big hitter there. This one good for 18. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. They'll look to run with Henderson. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That's an excellent stop right there here in this tie game. They're doing their best to hold the fort and at least force a field goal attempt. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. They will toss to Brown. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. A bad time for a full start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. Back to throw, gone. And he's got it. That's caught for a round touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Rams have taken the lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. New England trying to get to place on offense. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up. 
And that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Going on the ground, it's White. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that was not what you would call straight-line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. On second and 11 now. Newton, throw caught here by Bird. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. A game of nine. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. incomplete and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Patriot football but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run with a fullback Johnson. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. New England. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. A shotgun snap for Newton. He's going to let this one go deep. And incomplete on the deep ball. Demir Bird, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. <laughs> Throwing again. Newton. And he's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 31-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. He completes it right side of the lane. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 21-yard line. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. On the ground, Michelle. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. New England. Sony Michelle, his second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. So the second time tonight, he has hit the end zone, Charles. Some people just have a natural nose for the end zone, and he's exhibiting that here in this game. Big time job, and of course, he's got to pat the backs of the offensive line. Yeah, they can't be lost in the shuffle. They're vital. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter.
A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. On the return comes Webster. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 right at the 30. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs. Even The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Goff now to throw. Lots oh, of screen pass. That's complete. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Third and long, it's gone. That's taken in by Henderson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Johnny Hecker now as he's on to punt for L.A. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at the 20. And he'll hand this to Michelle to get things started. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On the draw, here's White. And he'll power his way up near the 25. The New England ball. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. New England on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This will be third and six. And a throw there going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. So 
possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Out of the gun, gone. They'll get this one to cut complete, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. Again, it's Henderson. About three yards there to the 27. The ball carrier. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Throwing on third. Gone. They got him in. It's Woods. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll run here with Henderson. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's second and goal operating from the 8-yard line. To throw is gone. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. Third second goal. Last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Gone. into the hands of Reynolds. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Gay's kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing?
after the main field goal. Gay back out there to kick it off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now first and 10 at their own 24. He'll drop to throw. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw again, Newton. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Escaping the pressure right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. But plays like that, Charles, no doubt, they're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Jordan Thomas, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now Newton. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. This is caught at the 20. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. A big play there on third down for the Pats. 44 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Newton throwing again. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. That was play number 7 on this drive, and it got him 7 yards. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Ryan Izzo there to make the grab. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you've got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way.
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return comes Webster. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. So off for the Rams. Down 28-24, 90 seconds remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Back to throw. Open man is Higby, the tight end. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. A gain of five yards on the catch there brings up second down. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. He's back to throw. His pass complete to Reynolds. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. First down now, but that clock rolling. He'll look to throw. He'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. From the 50, it's gone. Open man right side is cut complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. First and 10 at their own 46. And this one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. Tonight, so this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but bottom line, they got the job done. Yeah, it is the bottom line, isn't it? A few anxious moments along the way, though. A few sweaty palms, not just for the team, but for their fans. As you mentioned, down going into the fourth quarter. How about the rally? How about the comeback? Getting it done on both sides of the ball, holding them when they needed to, and finding ways to get points when they had the football. So 
so that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.